Oh no, they're on to us. Yeah. This whole virus, this isolation, it's not gonna stop us. We're sober and we're motivated. Shoot this shit. <laughs> What's going on there today, Sober Motivators? I'm your host, David Sherwin, with Sober Motivation Podcast. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful Friday afternoon. I know a lot of us are still on this quarantine deal, but that's not going to stop us from today's episode is self-love. And that's what I wanted to bring up to all of you guys today. Self-love. Do the things for yourself that are going to help you maintain your ship your if you want to call it a, a x-wing fighter or whatever call it that do do what you got to do for self-love uh i put out a little instagram snippet about about um self-love and um how in a in a certain situation where self-love and self-care is important for instance if you're on an airplane that's potentially on its way down first thing you do is you put on your gas mask and then after that you can start helping other people with their gas masks that's basically because your body only has so much oxygen in it to to maintain uh breathing for a certain period of time or consciousness for a certain period of time so Similar to other areas of your life where if you're feeling like you're getting overwhelmed and you're getting uh, wound up by external factors and whatnot, take a minute, breathe, get some, get some care in, get some oxygen in, get some positive energy in, listen to the Sober Motivation Podcast, think about your day, what it's going to entail, how you're going to going to effectively go forward through your day and be effective to help care for others because I know right now it's it's a trying time for all of us to think about how we can take care of others and it's really a a trip when I when I think about it right now when I watched the whole <sighs> if you're a fan of the whole Star Wars deal if you remember when Luke Skywalker was going in to go take on Darth Vader, who was pretty much the most powerful person that he had to go take on. He had to first master himself before he could go forward with the effort of taking down Darth Vader because he was just too powerful to just be taken on in any any frame. So that's, I think, where... Um, and that's what helps me. Like I, I've said before, my higher power is the force. See, I'm even I'm rocking a stormtrooper shirt, but really, like I've said before, my, my higher power is the force, and I, I feel it right now. And thinking about it more, like dealing with this quarantine and dealing with how we deal with ourselves, deal with the people around us, deal with this hysteria, deal with the pandemic. You've really, really got to master yourself first and hold yourself to balance and love and to care so that if, you're, if your goal is to love yourself and others, you've got to, do, you, you got to take care of you first. Um, I was listening to this quote and it said, saying yes to others shouldn't mean that you're saying no to yourself also. And I'm not saying a drink, don't do that. Because that's saying no to you pretty quickly because you're not really working on the things that you need to work on. But the but the things that um that I was thinking of was for instance this podcast been late. I didn't hit up I didn't do it yesterday, I know. I, I fell flat on my face, but I'm firing it off today, getting it out to you guys because I know there's an audience listening. We got people in the U.S. I got I got a quite a bit of a U.S. listen listenership. I got the U.K., Australia, a few other countries. Sorry if I if I fail to mention your name. I'm I'm getting this done uh, on the fly right now. Not that I'm trying to put out a less quality episode, but just to get to the point of self care and taking care of yourself. Because if you don't, the the consequences are dire. 
They are deadly, in fact. They will kill you to if you fail to heed to that idea. And, yeah, take care of yourself. Do, do the most impactful, effective, best thing that you can for yourself to stay on that, stay on that balance, stay with, with the force so the force can be with you so that you can give it to other people and give that positivity to other people. And it's a great, um, it's a great feeling once you are on that positive path today and just to, uh, get on to your projects, get on to your self love ideas. If it's doing your poetry, do a writing, do a journal, do a podcast. I'm going to drop a sponsorship right here and coming back from anchor. And as well as that, if you guys, because I know there are some questions for those of you guys who watch the uh, YouTube channel or see it on Instagram, this sober motivation, the sober snapback is what I'm, I'm calling it, is available for sale on SoberMotivation.com. If you guys are uh, still strapped for it, don't worry. I'm not, I'm not pressing it, honestly. I'm not a sobriety or any sort of coach like that. I'm not getting paid to do this. There's no incentive other than if you guys want it, if I see you guys wearing it, I'll give you a huge shout out on the podcast, on the Instagram and everywhere else. But yeah, there's, um, there's self love you have to do for yourself. So if it's wearing a hat, I wear this hat for self love because it reminds me of when I'm sober, like I get to wear this out as if, you know, I know he's not a popular person with everybody. Kanye West, when he, he wears his hat, uh, this hat kind of makes me feel like a superhero cause it says sober on it and it's real. It's the real deal. I'm, I'm literally sober every day. I've worn it. The days when I wasn't wearing it is because I wasn't sober. So when, uh, when I fell off the, the wagon, I, I couldn't wear this hat to work. I couldn't wear it at all because it was depressing for me, but it's a good reminder for myself to, when I'm wearing it, like I get to wear it with pride, with love. And to kind of give the message, I know there's uh, some animosity towards promoting like this, but it's not promotion. It's it's attraction for myself because I, I like the hat a lot and it matches well with Ray-Ban. So if you guys got some Ray-Bans or some other nice sunglasses, you know, I would love if if I could figure it out, figure out like a, a sun sunglass brand for sober motivation. I wish I could figure that one out, but that, that'll probably take me some time. Um do it. It feels great. And, um, get out there, get your, get your voice out there, get your energy out there, get it out of your head, get out of the knots in your body and your physiology, whatever it is. If it's going for a run, run to go get those knots out of your, of your body, read, do some reading, do some self-help reading. I, I read a book called the compound effect, or I've actually been listening to it on audible and I've actually, I picked up one of the things from the book and it says to consider um, listening to books in your car instead of music because music is considered gum for the ears, chewing gum for the ears, which isn't always a bad thing. Honestly, I like chewing gum. It's kind of helped me when um, I'm, I'm strapped up because like uh, I, I was I was doing a bit of the vaping, the e-cigarettes. But I switched over to this thing called Zin. I'm not sponsored by Zin at all, but they're these little like nicotine pouches, and they're not tobacco either. It's just like nicotine, and um, those help with uh, just kind of keeping me even. So it, and it gives my, my brain a little bit, bit more energy to uh, fire off these thoughts and get them out of my head. But um. Yeah, like I said, like I I use che- chewing gum to kind of center myself if I if I'm not carrying any nicotine around with me. But it is what it is. Self love, e- even if it's chewing gum, I I don't care. Go chew gum and go love yourself for chewing some gum because that's what's important right now is loving yourself. And I'm gonna tell you guys all this too. For those of you who are following this path of sobriety and motivation and the force. Or whatever, whatever spiritual thing that's keeping you strong right now, keep with it because I have a I have a story that's kind of it's not really um, it's not exactly like a quarantine like this, but when I was overseas in Okinawa, we had these things called lockdowns in the base, 
on the base because of things that people were doing and getting in trouble. So we weren't allowed to leave base. So I kind of feel like I'm back back to this again with the whole uh, just being on lockdown. So it's kind of like, oh, okay, it's it's back again. But I know it's not like that for everybody. But but take it like this, right? You're gonna be on. You're gonna be in quarantine. You're gonna be in lockdown. But you're still working on yourself. So think about it like this: when this comes up, because it's gonna lift. Like I'm, I'm very positive in the idea that it's gonna lift. When it lifts, just think: all these chains that are kind of wrapped around you, spiritually, physically. When those come off and you are allowed to leave your house, go run, go exercise, go do your business, go do, go make money, go make more money. When I left my, that similar situation, when I was locked down, when I got to leave, like that's where I was out. Like, and like, it still sucks. Like I, I wasn't sober, but like when I had that ability to like get out and go do things, like I, I was hitting the ground running immediately and that's part of the reason why I probably am even even sober as well because I realized like it's just it's a chemical physical spiritual barrier and once those are lifted you're off you're you're running like you're going and the only thing that's going to stop you is you in reality like this is this is action this is where you're taking action right now. It's not, you're just thinking you're taking action. If you're listening to this podcast, my opinion, you're taking good action for yourself. So take it, take the action, take the love, give the love, pass the love, be sober, be motivated, be here, be present and, uh, just stay up. I hope you guys are all staying up right now. And if, if you aren't, I, I, I hope you get up soon enough and, um, just get get in get back into it or stay on it if you're on it. So that that's where we're at right now with self love today. Hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of self love, and I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Friday afternoon. It's kind of nice out. It's, it stinks, it, right? It's like a perfect day to be on, on quarantine and not be able to leave your house. But it's time. It's just time. Time passes. Everything passes. It's like. It's like the ocean when it's in and the tides in time passes and soon the ocean comes back out. So that's all you got to do. Just, just stay with it. Don't, don't get caught up in the negativity. You've got this. I believe in all of you. I believe in, uh, everyone who wishes the best for everything as well. So there you have it. Self love, sober motivation. Catch me on Instagram. Catch me on Twitter at sober motivator on TikTok. Even I've been putting out a little bit of clips on there. As Sober Motivator, you can get get me on YouTube, Facebook, and as well as the website, SoberMotivation.com, and Sober Motivation for Facebook and YouTube. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day, wonderful Friday, and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all soon.